There have been a remarkable 25 goals in the past four meetings between these clubs, including back-to-back 5-3 scorelines. They're one point behind Adelaide United on the ladder right now. It's a big game coming up in Friday night football from Cooper's Stadium tonight. No, but that ball was on, just the execution of the pass. Halloran was in behind. Abatu tries to do the same thing, and that'll hold up on the breeze. Oh, Ingham, risky challenge. Penalty being given here, I think. No, the offside flag, in fact, will bail out Dane Ingham, and boy, is he relieved right now. And we'll need another angle. Otherwise, uh, the call will stand from the assistant on the far side. Nervous moments for Dane Ingham. And it is confirmed a lot further up the pitch. Read better by Halloran. Ingham gambled again. He's been caught out. Halloran has space to exploit. Juric in the middle. Clever cut back. Mork opens the scoring for Adelaide United. Space in behind. Dane Ingham exploited to wonderful effects. And the captain is on target with his second goal of the campaign. State from Dane Ingham. He doesn't need to dive in on this. He's got to be sure to win that. He doesn't. Halloran's away. And look how he's positive and direct. Right in front of the Red Army. Adelaide United are celebrating. Now Keogh in the middle. And Fornaroli switching it up. Castro. Brilliant. Close control. And Keogh goes down. Elsie points at the ball, which uh, may sum up and he's a little worried about any adjudication here from the referee. He'll just pause and get a word from VAR on whether Elsie took man before ball. Still looking at it. And now it's been given the all clear. Elsie breathes again. Toure out there on a wing at the moment. There's the three minutes of stoppage time being added. There's, uh, three Perth Glory fans in the away end haven't liked what they've seen so far with their team attacking that end. And here's Halloran getting the better of Latchman. He's in behind. Ben Halloran wastes the opportunity. He's had a few. They're not his favourite foot, but what a chance. That would have drove a stake through the heart of Perth Glory. Big mistake from Latchman. Lines with those fresh legs, but Timothy is uh, dealing with everything in his area right he now. He hasn't put a foot wrong, has he? Steins bowled Smith over. Fans not happy about it. They're right into this contest. As you'd expect, their team on top. So Castro still pulling the strings. Kilkenny, great ball! And Forna rolling in the middle. It might be an own goal off Abitou. Perth don't care. They're back level. It's 1-1 in Adelaide. Well, make no mistake, whether it's an own goal or Fornaroli, Castro makes this with a quite incredible pass. Confirmation coming. VAR has awarded that goal to Bruno Fornaroli. Fourth of the season for the Uruguayan. Short corner. Kilkenny, there's a little channel there for Castro. Through legs. Chance in the middle for Aspro, teeing up teammates. Steins, deflection, and Perth have turned it all around. Daniel Steins claiming the goal. It is his. And who saw this scoreline coming about 15 minutes ago? Credit to the glory. Keeps it low and hard. Lots of bodies. And, of course, this is likely to happen when there's so many bodies there. And who does it actually come off? Uh, comes Timothea. Didn't know much about it. Offside, I think. Even if he keeps it in here. Oh, we let it roll. It was signalled for offside, Mohamed Toure. And we're at the referee's discretion now. There's no more time. What a result for Perth. Back-to-back -back wins on the road. They head home to see family and friends again and go through that isolation period in Perth.
with three wins to their credit now this season and a string of home games to come. They are a team on the rise this season. They turn it all around in the second half. Adelaide United beaten at home for the first time in this campaign. Couldn't hold on to their first half lead established by Stefan Mork as Fortaroli and an own goal from Timotheu make it 2-1 to Perth.